Hey folks, welcome to our garden on the north end of Salt Spring Island. Today, mid-January 2018, I'm going to talk about the best palm you can possibly grow for the uh, southwest coast of British Columbia, Canada. So if you're looking for a nice uh, hardy palm tree to grow and you live, you know, within 10 to 15 kilometers of the Pacific Ocean, this palm right here growing beside me is foolproof. Foolproof, bulletproof. It is the uh, probably the hardiest arborescent palm tree you will find for this area with a long proven track record. So it's Trachycarpus fortuni. I grew these from seed. And uh, it's a Chinese windmill palm is the common name. They're native to uh, high mountainous areas of China where it gets quite cold, snowy in the winter time. So the climate here is actually perfect. It's probably milder here than where they grow in their native land. Um, we get occasional snowfall here and it doesn't bother them. What they don't like is extreme prolonged cold along with wind and that's something we don't get here as well but uh, I, I always say closer to the ocean because the ocean uh, temperatures regulate the air temperatures in the in the winter time and uh, it's more moderate by the uh, by the coast so 10 to 15 kilometers away from the ocean after that it starts getting a lot colder I do know of some you know pretty good sized specimens um, as you're getting into the Fraser Valley but uh, they do get damaged in the cold winters out there and anything east of that they're probably going to need protection in the winter time. Um, if you don't see mature ones growing in your uh, in your vicinity then they probably do not grow in that area without protection. Here on the coast they need no winter protection. Uh, you could basically drop seed on the ground here and it will grow. They have a thick fibrous trunk and very thick fiber up the trunk which probably protects them in the winters where they are native to. Uh, the fibers in China, where they are native to, are used to make uh, waterproof cloaks, brushes, brooms, doormats, and you can also take that fiber off and line baskets with them. Uh, some people like to strip the uh, trunks with a box cutter and um, have the bare trunk look on them. These are disease resistant, uh, pretty drought tolerant when they're established. They are evergreen, they're a nice broadleaf evergreen, so they look good year round. They do grow year round here on Salt Spring Island where I live in the southern Gulf Islands. Uh, the growing zone here where I am at this end of the island is more like a 9A. We have not seen any temperatures below 20 degrees Fahrenheit uh, since the winter of 2008. December 2008, we dropped down to 18 degrees Fahrenheit for a brief period, but uh, it was another decade before that before we saw temperatures below 20. So growing zone here, uh, doesn't you don't see lows below 20 degrees Fahrenheit. It's very rare. and. Um, this is perfect weather for them. We have wet winters here on Salt Spring Island and they will continue to grow, like I say, pushing out center spears. The trunk on this palm here will grow to about 10 meters in height and uh, or more. So that's uh, over 30 feet of trunk. There's very, very old ones on our coast here. Some were planted uh, in the 1940s. Vancouver, a lot of them were planted in the 1960s. And uh, if you get to Vancouver and some of its suburbs, you will see a lot of uh, public plantings of these palm trees, of the Chinese windmill palm tree. Especially in Beach Avenue in the west end of Vancouver, the beaches are lined with palm trees. You get out to the suburb of Tawasin, about another 20 miles south, and uh, there are streets lined with palm trees there as well. Victoria and uh, all up and down Vancouver Island along the ocean, there are hordes of Trachycarpus fortuni palm trees in public and private gardens. Uh, our garden, we have thousands of them. There is other varieties in the genus. I think there's a probably about eight or nine in the genus of Trachycarpus. Um, they claim the hardiest is Trachycarpus tequil, which is native uh, to areas up to 8,200 foot on northeast facing slopes of the Himalayas. And uh, that is, uh, they claim the hardiest. And it has slightly different fronds than this, maybe a bit stiffer. And that's one I have to try in our garden. So I will grab the camera there and uh, I will show you the trunk, a closer up look at the trunk of the uh, palm here. Excuse me, I'm kind of stuffed up. I got a bit of a cold, so uh, ears are even kind of plugged. <laughs> but I'll show you some of the seedlings growing around here too. We do propagate them in our greenhouse, and as you can see, there's some behind me, and we do grow the hybrids as well, which is a cross between a Trachycarpus fortuni and a Wagneri anus. So that is your regular fortuni. Okay, and uh, you can see the seedlings growing around it. There's lots of them. And then you can see the um, the trunk here, very fibrous, and uh, that's when I say they make cloaks, waterproof cloaks, 
and uh, brooms and brushes and doormats from that thick fiber. And the hybrids are in behind it there. They have a lot stiffer fronds. And then there's also Trachycarpus Wagnerianus, which has uh, also a proven track record on our in our climate here in the southern Gulf Islands and along our coast. It has smaller, stiffer fronds and uh, completely cold hardy here on Salt Spring Island. All right, folks. Anyway, you want to try a good palm, like I say, with a proven track record. You can't beat Trachycarpus fortunae. The Chinese windmill palm does very well in these uh, coastal areas off the west coast of Canada. All right. Cheers. Happy palm growing. Remember, you plant a palm, you can't grow wrong.